Coronation Street is a show that was created over 50 years ago by Tony Warren. It depicts the lives and times of the working class in the northwest of England. Coronation Street is the longest running uh, continuing drama in the world. We produce over 260 episodes a year and we produce 50 weeks of the year. We distribute to dozens of countries around the world and with a UK audience of over 8 million for every episode. Coronation Street's new home at Media City encompasses everything to get the programme from script to screen. We moved here in January 2014. All the facilities are purpose-built purely for Coronation Street. Filmlight kindly came to demonstrate their new system. It instantly blew me away with the potential that this had for our workflow. To have a render-free workflow between dub, grade, edit, without touching the native codec was a very appealing prospect to me. They gave us a full episode of Cory and they said, okay, you're, you're saying that grading improves the, the show, prove it. Did a, a, a quite a simple grade, but said, this is, this is what uh, we think it, it can do. And they, they saw it, they liked it, and they said, okay, great. The overall look of Coronation Street is a fairly warm, homely feel. So it's kind of maintaining that, you know, it's, to suddenly make it sort of very dark and moody wouldn't necessarily be appropriate. And sometimes we go completely away from that. We go for sort of quite harsh look if the scene demands it. One of the main issues we have is exterior scenes. They can be four seasons in one day up here in Manchester. So we, we have to be able to kind of match that easily. So it's just kind of maintaining what the viewers sort of know Coronation Street to be, but it's also to kind of hopefully to give it more of a sense of time and place because each episode is roughly a day. When the producer picture locks our episodes, the files then or the, the sequences then transition through to dubbing, online and grade. The sequences are, are exported out of the Avid as an AAF. I can then import that AAF into our baselight system, linking directly to the ISIS. Once Stephen has finished grading the show, um, he creates an AAF which comes back to me. I import it into the media composer and then I have a real-time sequence with all the effects on every single clip in the timeline. Say a producer or a director wanted to make any tweaks to Stephen's grade. Um, I could either do it in Baselight for Avid or Stephen can actually do it in his Baselight suite. At this stage, no renders have taken place on the sequence at all. It's still working as a real-time effect on an Avid timeline. Previously, it was a lot more long-winded. You know, there's a lot more importing and exporting, a lot more sort of rendering and things like that. Whereas now we're a lot slicker. I mean, we're as slick as we can be, really, in many ways. Prior to moving to Media City and, and going with the Baselight system, we would have to flatten the file out into a different codec, export, create the file, grade the show, bring it back in. It was a lot of processing, and for the show, we have, we can't afford the time or the compression involved in those methods. The round trip operation only takes a matter of seconds as where historically it would have taken certainly lots of minutes, if not hours. Coronation Street are using a panel called the Slate, which is our new f sort of small format panel. It has the same really high quality trackballs and encoders as you would get in a Blackboard 2. Cory also have a base light one desk side, which is a workstation which is Linux, has a good GPU and is the major workhorse we sell for doing TV style workflows. I definitely recommend the renderless workflow to other productions because it, it keeps the sort of the decision making fluid in, in, in the post production process so that when tweaks are made and editorial things are changed it's very quick to change those. Anyone can make changes until the very end. You can be in the final little sound mix, everyone's there, all the big show heads are, are watching it and you say can we tweak that vignette or something? They can just go in, tweak it, and they're off. Personally, I couldn't be more pleased with not only the service they gave before we purchased the system, but also the service they've given us following the purchase, which is incredibly important to me as a customer. They've designed, built, reshaped. Any request we've, we've put in has been acted on efficiently, and uh, that to me is, um, is a company that I'd like to work with again.